make clouds disappear. Okay. And kiss. What the hell is this shit? It's a cow. Oh no. Such a good teaser, and then they ruin it all with it being a platformer game. Follow me on social networks. If you want the audio only version or want a personalized video, find the links below. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today is a very different video. I've never done anything like this before. So, welcome. This is my Steam page, uh, and I'm on Steam Greenlight. So, basically, Steam Greenlight, if you don't know, is a greenlighting process on Steam that allows people, like you and me, to vote on whether or not they want a game that is currently not on the store to be on the store. The main uh, way of voting for this is basically whether or not you would buy it. If you would buy it, you vote yes. If not, no. Um, and I think it might be interesting for a lot of people to see how I vote on the game song green light and uh, I think one day you'll see the game I'm currently making on green light as well but that's quite a while away so yeah you can be looking through the games with me and I think that'll be fun so without further ado let's get going so the first game we have here is called Poland Ball Shoot Game, or Poland Ball Shoot, I guess. Um, there's a video here that shows you some gameplay. You won't hear the audio. Some of these traders have copyrighted music. Maybe you'll hear some bleeding through my headphones, but other than that, you won't hear very much. So this just looks like a game where you roll around and shoot other balls. Not my kind of game. Not the kind of thing I'd pay for. So, not interested. Here we have another game. Reverse Time Collapse. Hmm. I still don't really get what kind of game this is. Action adventure, it says, but that's a little broad. It has time travel based on real events. Okay. No, is the answer to that? <laughs> okay, I mean. This looks interesting enough. I'll oh, set up for the video. Just if you're an indie game developer, just by chance, long trailers are completely unnecessary. I mean, this will be a common uh, theme on Greenlight. People putting up several minute long trailers, people aren't going to watch them. They're just not. Uh, especially when they have so much text. A lot of them have text. Now these people have gone the right way about it with the text and have text over uh, the shots. There are many trailers out there with text on its own, which this sort of does as well, honestly. It's just wasting my time making me read. Voice actors are perfect for this kind of thing because you can show the game off whilst still saying the same things to the viewer. So you can cut down the time. Anyway. Reverse Time Collapse is a unique experience under development of that combines the fast-paced action of The Last of Us. Was The Last of Us fast-paced? I never played it, but I didn't get the impression that it was fast-paced. Uh, the stealth of Metal Gear Solid with the puzzle system of Monkey Island. Okay. I don't see any Monkey Island in there, and that's a game I'm very familiar with. There are some similarities with L.A. Noir and Shimmer. 
game combines exploration, combat, and puzzles with an innovative interaction system and multi-character cooperation system. I'm not entirely sure still. I mean, I know what the game is going for thematically and what the idea behind it is. But I didn't quite get a good impression of the actual gameplay. I didn't watch the whole trailer, of course, but... If they can't tell me in one minute what the gameplay is going to be like, it probably is not going to be very clear at all. It's an interesting enough idea, so I'm going to say yes on the condition that it's, you know, a good game. Stop the earth, I'm getting off, visual novel. What? Is this an anime dating sim? Pretty sure. What is this? Okay, well... Okay. <laughs> Hello there, censored boogies. <laughs> This is not the kind of thing I'd buy. Uh, these games are not usually the kind of games that I uh, spend much time on, much less money. I would not buy it. You can get this kind of thing for free online anyway. Just, you know, just saying. But no, it's not my kind of thing. They took his wife. They took his freedom. You can't hear it, but there's some groovy music. Now he took... What? I can read that? I'm sorry. Anyway, he's out for revenge. See? 30 second trailer. Get the point across. Loads of gameplay. Granted, they had text on there, but they didn't take away from the actual game. You could still see the gameplay. So if you're going to do text, that's how to do it. 30 seconds, everything you need to know about the game. Super simple. That's how you do a green light trailer. You can have a, a better, longer trailer on uh, YouTube and, you know, as the official trailer. But as a green light trailer, that is perfect. Unfortunately, it's not my kind of game. So, no thanks. Let's see. Ballistic NG Arcade. It's a free-to-play racing game. It says over here. Okay, I can't remember the game that I'm thinking of, but this reminds me of uh, a game. If you've played it, you'll know what I'm talking about. This really isn't my thing. Yeah. Nah. It's not for me. There we go. Wipeout. That's the game. That's the game I was thinking of. But nah, it's not for me. So no thanks. Let's move on. Purchase new band members. Let's look at that. And advertisements. There's another tip for any indie developer out there. Turn off monetization for your green light trailers. Okay. This whole video is one big advertisement. You do not want other advertisement to interrupt your advertisement. Alright, that's just bad business. You don't want to do that. Turn off monetization for your trailers. I feel like this could just tell me all this information so much quicker with the voice actor, more fast pitch video, just get the point across immediately. Because all this text is just going in one eye and out the other. <laughs> for the lack of a better term, I suppose. Uh, it doesn't look like my kind of thing. In fact, very little uh, green light is actually my kind of thing. So, almost all of them are no. Okay, 
Looks like a first time project. Draxel is an action packed retro style RPG. The objective explore and fight through large landscapes to build up an arsenal of weapons and armor in preparation to fight off a threatening dragon. Um, it's the kind of thing I'd play as a kid on like a shareware Mac OS 9 disc. It's not the kind of thing that I'd played today, unless, you know, I was playing the ones that I played when I was a kid for nostalgic purposes. But I know it better these days. Okay, Jelly Arcade. We are eight seconds in, and I haven't seen anything from the game yet. Only nine seconds in, do they actually share any gameplay? Nine whole seconds. Twenty percent of the oh, okay, not quite. It's like more like sixteen, seventeen percent of the trailer. Is the title screen. That is a bad thing. Looks very casual, and casual generally doesn't jive with me. Okay, I mean relatively quick, but still six, seven, seven seconds to get in. Again, Casual, not my kind of thing. Hmm. If you're still watching this, what kind of game it would be your kind of thing? Are there any games that I've skipped so far that you would not have? Because it'd be interesting to know what kind of uh, what kind of games other people would like to see on Steam, and, and whether or not people think I'm being too harsh, maybe. <laughs> Okay, so this is an arena shooter, much like um, the recent Duck game. So it comes across, but it doesn't look as well made as Duck game. But I suppose this is just an early version, maybe, if they got a good artist. Which they don't currently, but if they got one. I think they could maybe do a good job of this, unfortunately. Again, it ain't what I would buy. Generate another set. Let's see if there's any more games. Yeah, sorry. Let's see. Okay, it's got nice visuals. Hmm. Okay, I'll accept the text this time, because one, they're still showing gameplay, and two, it's quotes from companies, so that, okay, fine. Okay, it looks fun enough. Like if this was something uh, proposed at a LAN party or something, I might enjoy it. But I don't think I'd buy this, you know, outside of that scenario. Certainly wouldn't buy it to play alone. Or online with the, okay, so it says single player and local co-op. So it's not even a multiplayer game. That is uh, going to be a no for me then. I don't have any people to play LAN parties with anymore, so. Oh, Fat Man. Great. He looks Canadian. <laughs> what on earth is this? This is hilarious. Okay. I mean, it looks like a pretty bad game itself. It certainly isn't what I would pay for. But at least I have a sense of humor. I think this will sit well with a lot of people who like uh, fighting games. <laughs> Let's see. Full fledged sequel to the popular What's Under the Blanket. <laughs> it's not the kind of thing I'd buy, but it does look interesting. Purgatory. Okay. He's got a voice actor. Good. Okay, he's dead. It's got combat similar to uh, Harris 3 
combat. Not something I'm unfamiliar with. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't quite look like what I would pay for, but it looks interesting enough. They didn't have any text on the screen, as far as I can remember. No, pretty much just a voice actor in the background. So they did that right. They've done a lot of stuff right. Unfortunately, not the kind of thing I would pay for. Atomic Butcher. Okay. Wait, if your mother's watching this, she needs to turn away. Alright, so we are 11 seconds and I haven't reset any gameplay. 12, 13, 14, 15. I mean, I get that they're trying to set the scene and whatever, but 21 seconds in and this is all I've seen. It's a nice ass though. The world has ended. Great. What kind of voice actor say that? Okay. Nah. A violent platformer. They're normally that not uh, not that fun. This looks like it's wait, it's a drone game flying through hoops. Hmm. Is that it? Is that all there is to this game? Okay, well, maybe it'll hit a niche audience. I think they've wasted an opportunity by not having this be in an open world. But, um, yeah, nah, not for me. Voice actor, good. Straight to the point. Hmm, okay. Cow that wants revenge, eh? <laughs> it's a cow. Oh no. Such a good teaser, and then they ruin it all with it being a platformer game. I get it, it's an indie game, they need to save money somehow, but. <sighs> Platformers, man. Nah. It's just an, almost an immediate no for me. Jay Walker Virtual Reality. I don't have a virtual reality headset, so I, this is going to be a no again, but, uh, you know, it's a game about crossing the road. <laughs> okay, nah, no thanks. Ten cupcakes. What on earth is this? Am I going to prison for watching this? This app was rejected by Facebook. Okay. Cupcakes for the reasons this is considered pornographic, which is against our content guidelines. <laughs> what on earth? Make clothes disappear. Okay. And kiss. What the hell is this shit? What? And avoid women with clothes. Get the cupcake. Make all clothes disappear. Okay, right. Not the kind of thing I'd buy, but I mean, good luck, guys. <laughs> okay, it's always good to hear. Okay, you can't hear it, but uh, music in the background is just a, a looping sample from uh, Garage Band. That's good. Okay, again, it's too casual for my liking. Let's go through a couple more. Oh, well, I mean, I guess there's not going to be that many more now. 
let's see how many we've got. We can we can finish that. We can go for these. So Battle of Vizier will be the last one we visit. Let's see. Never give up. The series that raged the internet. Well, at least they know how to sell their game to their audience. I'm not the audience of these guys, but... Yeah, okay, so it's essentially, what, Super Meat Boy, but in a different skin? That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Not for me. It's for a lot of people, not for me. There's a voice actor. Good. Hmm. Oh no. Another platformer. Again, really cool teaser trailer and then it's just a platformer. It's just not for me. It's just not for me. Why are there so many platformers? Why? Okay. Let us see. This is going to be another casual platformer. It says they're rare in the genre. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. The thing, okay, so a lot of people out there might be looking at this thinking, oh, dude, you're being so harsh. I have yet to play in the last few years. A platformer that I would cons like consider worth paying for you know like not because they don't provide value but because I had fun with them or not there has just not been a platformer a uh, 2d platformer that is there have been a couple 3d ones but 2d platformers just they just don't do it for me I've got to think back. Have there been any exceptions? Not really. Bit Trip Runner, maybe, but it's not really a platformer as much as it is a rhythm game. Mm. No, it's, you know, it's just not my thing. This is a casual shooter, it says. Using Inception music. This is why, probably one of the reasons there's no music in the background for you, because, you know, copyright infringement and all. But, um, taking way too long to get to the point, or is this actually just the point? Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that it's a multiplayer game where one person plays the pigeon, one person, uh, person tries to shoot it down. Eh, fun enough idea, but uh, no thanks. <sighs> Hangar Void. Mm, it's a little loud. Okay, it's a platformer, but at least he's got a level editor. Good for them. Let's see, Polydome. What have we got here? It's a casual music game. You put together different shapes in VR space to create different pieces of music. Eh. Not my kind of music game. And I don't have a VR headset anyway. Dolphin up. Nah. You can get this exact thing as a free flash game online. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay money for it Throne rushers trainer Hmm So it is just a platformer, but random generation is good I guess infinite replayability Nice. Let's see that again. See that, guys? One. There. One second in. Immediately to gameplay. 
That's exactly what you want. You must be the new guy, nice to meet you. It's a horror game. I'm not really into horror games. They're a little bit boring most of the time. And when they're not, they're just like, like jump scares. And jump scares are truly scary. I want a game that leaves me with dread, and jump scares typically don't. This doesn't look like the kind of game that is any different. Nah. I wish someone would just take a different approach to horror games. Maybe I will someday. Okay, so this is the last game we'll be rating. Battle of Azir. A strategy RPG game. Okay, using templates for text, man. It's just no good. This is supposed to be your trailer. It's supposed to sell people on the project. You can't just use templates. <laughs> Doesn't fit in with the game aesthetic at all. Um, the GUI really needs some work. I'm guessing this is some very early prototype, maybe, but let's give it a shot here. Hmm. I'm into strategy, I'm into RPG. But it seems like a rather casual experience compared to what it could be. And it also seems like the the, the visuals really need some work, right? The GUI specifically, the interface. For you who don't know, um, GUI is graphical user interface. Uh, and like these big blocky pieces of uh, information just don't look good. Is taking away from a lot of the game. I think it needs some work. Definitely needs polish. Could be cool, maybe. But as it stands, no thanks. So this should be the end of this queue. Yeah. Okay, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, maybe you found some interesting games in there that I didn't personally like. Uh, I suggest you go and check out Steam Greenlight if you were interested in any of those, or just interested in the process itself, you can go and rate your own games. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, it for today, and I hope you enjoyed. So if you did, leave a like, if you didn't, leave a dislike. Feedback is very, very uh, appreciated. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. On the screen is... Uh art, or at least the beginning.